Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, welcome to my beauty space. My name is Jenny. Today I'm going to be doing a makeup tutorial on this beautiful pink color right here using the new Morphe 39S palette and also the new brushes that came along with the palette. I think they did come out together, I'm not too sure, but anyway, they're both new. We're going to be using them in this tutorial. If you want to learn how to recreate this look, then just keep on watching. So we're going to begin by priming our eyes. I'm going to be using the Morphe Eyeshadow Primer. This is obviously going to just help the eyeshadow stick to our eyelid and last longer. It's also going to avoid, you know, those ugly creases. So for today's makeup look, we're going to be using this beauty right here. This is the 39S palette from Morphe. They just recently came out with this palette. I had seen it online. I saw the colors and I thought it was absolutely stunning online. But obviously, you know, it's, there's a big difference in between online and in person. So now that we have a Morphe store here in Tampa, I decided to just go to the store, swatch the colors, play with it, see it in person. And I was like, I still want it. I want to do a makeup tutorial. I love the colors. And of course, I want to share this with you guys. And this is where we're going to be working with today. Also, along with the palette, they also came out with a set of six brushes that come in this little pouch right here. Um, I don't know if they come together, but they came out at the same time, so I'm assuming they do. Um, the brushes are really, really nice. They look like this. So we're going to try them out along with the um, palette. So with this Morphe brush right here, it doesn't have like a name or anything. It just says Morphe. We're going to go into this beautiful hot pink color right here. We're going to apply it on our crease and just a little bit higher. <laughs> palette is so huge the next color that we're going to grab is this one right here with another um a brush from the little bundle um again the name so this one right here and we are going to use that color to intensify our crease we're going to go right in there <laughs> So we're going to go back to the palette and we're going to use this color right here with the same brush that we just used. We're just going to clean it and just focus in the outer corner of our eye. With a Morphe M224 brush like this one, we are going to, I've said this many times before on my Snapchat when I do my makeup tutorials, I'm going to try to cut my own crease. I can do it on other people, just not on myself. I don't know why, it just doesn't come out like a cut crease. It's annoying. So we're going to attempt to do that. Let's see how that goes. So I ended up creating a wing with my concealer as opposed to a cut crease. I knew it, it was just not going to come out. I don't know why, I just can't do it on myself. Other people, yeah, not me. Anyway, we're going to move forward to the next color. I'm just waiting for this to dry. It looks a little bit uneven, but we're going to fix it. It's going to look better. Um, we just have to work with what we have right now because at this point, I'm just like, this does not come out the way that I wanted it to. So because um, I want to go in with shimmers on the... Um, liner i created with the concealer i'm going to apply some glitter glue to avoid the transferring and i'm going to be picking i'm going to be picking these three right here Shadow, I'm going to go in with eyelashes. I'm going to skip the eyeliner for today. I'm going to be going in with these. These are Melrose Avenue from Morphe. One little trick that I did was use um, a black glue so when it dries, it dries black and it sort of looks like I have eyeliner, but I don't. <laughs> Now we're going to move on to our skin. I'm going to be using the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser from Maybelline. I like to put this one on my nose mainly because I have a lot of pores there and then I bring it out towards here. I don't use this all over my face. I only use it in these areas here because that's where I need it the most. So due to the weather, 
I found that this foundation kind of works really well with my skin when it's very humid because um, it dries matte and it helps with my uh, oil control which is the morphe foundation the only thing that i don't like about this foundation which i mentioned on my previous video when i first tried it is that it dries too quickly and it's very hard to blend other than that it's really 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 nice <music> Jeffree Star Concealer. I only apply it on my under eye area because I feel like that's the only place where I need it um, to blend it out. I'm going to be using this cute, it's already been used, I used it yesterday. This cute little pink glitter shimmery um, sponge from Real Techniques. It's so cute. I saw it um, at the drugstore yesterday and I'm like, I need to pick that up. It's cute. So the next item that I'm going to be using um, is going to be to set my under eye area. Now this one I'm really excited about because it's the Jeffree Star Setting Powder in the color Banana. I'm super excited about it. I purchased it a week ago and I haven't used it. So basically this is like a first impressions if you will. Um, let's see how it goes. I will let you guys know how it works throughout the day on my next video. It's super yellow. Kind of scared but... We'll see, we'll see. The young lady at the Morphe store in Tampa, she was like, you should use banana. I suggest that you use banana. Right now I'm kind of freaking out because of how yellow it is, but we will see. We're going to leave this on for two minutes and then we're going to brush it off. So, it smells really good. It feels very lightweight. I just hope that it looks really good throughout the rest of the day. We're going to set the rest of our face with the MAC Studio Fix Powder. I am in the color NC35, which I should know by memory by now. I've been using the same powder forever. So we're going to go ahead and bronze. I'm going to be using the 8L palette from Morphe. I'm going to go in with the color Donut. So I went ahead and I added some of the banana powder just to carve out my face. While this is setting here, I'm going to go in with the Morphe uh, C8 palette. This is the blush one. I'm going to go in with the color Hot. It's time to apply some highlight. I'm going to spray my skin first with the Morphe Setting Mist. I know all of most of the items, I didn't realize it, it's not on purpose. That I'm using today are Morphe. Like, I like everything, but today it just happened to be. <laughs> anyway, and yes, our highlight is gonna be a Morphe one today as well. This one is in the color Spark. It looks like this. We're gonna go back to the palette and apply a color on our lower lash line, and I'm gonna grab this color right here. Now I'm going to go in with my favorite mascara. This one is the L'Oreal Voluminous False Lash Mascara. So for lips, I'm going to be using the color Fling. This one is from Morphe. So this was it. This is the final look. I really hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Leave me a beautiful comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. But most importantly, don't forget to be your own kind of beautiful. I love you guys and I will see you all on my next video. Bye.